it was a long time ago, but my very first photo subject was, was blonde. Debbie, in a sense, changed the landscape of rock and roll. You could be a successful lead singer and also be deliriously photogenic, as she was and even to this day remain. People are going to say that Debbie was the greatest blonde that ever rocked. I worked with Debbie. My first sessions were actually with Debbie, not with the band. Because she was so photographed by everybody who could get their hands on her in those days. Yeah, cool, hold that there. Yeah! I can see New Jersey. I had seen Debbie play at CBGB's in the summer of 74. Oh, you've done this sort of thing before, young lady, I can tell, you know. When the light hits it, something special happens. Something about that, and then there's something about optics, and it's got beautiful skin. And she has a great attitude, you see. That's the thing that I loved from the beginning with Debbie, was how smart, but not, um, not narcissistic. She's not someone who needs to sit and look in the mirror all day long. Then there's the, um, session of Chris and Debbie at home. It was just me and them and it was, it was fun. There's some kind of ironic thing about their popularity, about the radio thing. I don't know if you'd call that punk, I'd just call that beautiful. I'll tell you what. Ah, Back to the Future, 2000. First time in many years. Sex, Maybe. what's that? But that was sex. Oh, I see. She had the vulnerability, Debbie. And I think that's what drove everybody absolutely wild, because she had the duality. You need the vulnerability in movies or something to, to break somebody's heart. You don't want to like beat somebody to death with how fabulous you are. Yeah. I told you, me and Miss Deborah, we fucking do it great. So effervescent and wonderful and free. What a free spirit and a brilliant photographer. I love you. Skin to skin.